the world as we speak is shrinking by size no i don't mean physically but technically we all are better connected that's how you know me i know you and that's how all thanks to information technology we all are witnessing this revolution where we have achieved successes which was never done earlier in human civilization now the side effect of that obviously is of course uh, instagram and the shorts era which of course uh, we all enjoy watching but the main effect is it revolutionized various fields and now is moving towards pace where it is going to revolutionize bt biotechnology but my question today is why it professionals are trying to learn biotech or bioinformatics or ai ml in biology and they're coming to me doing projects with us through our cro branch now the reason is very simple as you heard it artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize it and that means it professionals probably will become obsolete for the regular jobs which they used to do and that is why now they are thinking of what are the bigger problems we can solve so just yesterday i was talking to a computer science professional she has 10 years of experience in computer science and she has data science and ai and expertise but she was like how can i apply in biotech can you teach me that so of course uh, she has uh, taken the project with us what she told me i'm going to tell you the exact words and this will be a eye opener for all of you so first thing obviously she told me is we are going to be obsolete in the it industry because it professionals will be replaced by ai and we all know that but then it professionals will find their way into biotech and i smiled and said yes that's the reason biotechies are also learning uh, you know um, it stuff like ai ml uh, we are training students on ai ml she told me this that sir I want to work with biotechnologists in companies like Illumina where I can contribute towards the merger of computer science and life science. That led me to a very good conversation with her where she told me that she wants to work on primate AI. Now what is that? That's a 3D disease causing mutations prediction engine developed by Illumina. Now primate AI is a deep learning algorithm developed by Illumina to predict the pathogenic geneticity of genetic variants and it is trained on various genomic data from 233 non-human primate species it leverages the evolutionary conservation to distinguish benign from harmful mutations now this approach has improved the accuracy of identifying disease causing variants and has been validated across multiple clinical trials also imagine a computer science professional has already done the research now she wants to do this project with us so that she can work on genomics prediction model right now here is a thing as it professionals become obsolete in the it industry the next big challenge for them is biotechnology right and i'm happy that they are coming to biotechnica to learn ai ml and biology bioinformatics and biotechnology but this is also a reminder to all of you that if it professionals are finding their next challenge is biotech why are you not learning ai ml and bioinformatics and biotechnology and implementing these newer technologies into creating these kind of algorithms just like primate ai forget primate ai there is another ai which you should know it's called it's called splice ai now it is doing interpretation of non coding variants again developed by illumina splice ai is developed to, to focus on predicting the impact of genetic variants on rna splicing by analyzing non coding regions of the genome splice ai aids in uncovering variants that may contribute to disease but are often overlooked now this was never done before illumina is doing it and now you can contribute what if i tell you another ai dragon machine learning now it is accelerating the genomic analysis what it is doing the dragon platform incorporates machine learning to enhance the accuracy and speed of genomic data analysis genomic data analysis we all do but what if we could use machine learning to do it faster right it is a machine learning driven calling that has achieved high precision reduces false positives and negatives and is instrumental in large scale genomic studies so if you if you are looking at petabytes of genomic data yes it can be done there is a partnership between illumina and nvidia to advance multiomic research right you could be doing that right computer science professionals are finding it interesting why are you not finding it interesting illumina is partnering with nvidia to integrate 
AI capabilities into genomic analysis. Now, this collaboration aims to develop biological foundation models that can analyze multi-omic data, facilitating the breakthrough in drug discovery and personalized medicine. That's, that's huge, right? Now, imagine all of this happening and you would miss out on the chance. Now, let me tell you how much Illumina pays you if you get a job there, okay? So, two years ago, I placed an intern in Illumina, okay? And uh, they were giving a crore in stipend to an intern because they wanted someone who has AIML expertise in biology and that guy whom I placed was from IIT Delhi and he was a biotechy double degree in AIML and bioinformatics and he could do it right so time has come to not just listen and say that okay wow AI can do this okay AI, AI can create Ghibli style images the time has come to jump in and create your own AI model contribute to research using your expertise and then this novel trend has the capacity to make your senior scientists in top labs like CRISPR Therapeutics, Illumina, Moderna, Biocon, Syngene, all the top-notch labs are going to hire AIML experts in the future. Better be ready or better get obsolete. What will you choose? You want to be obsolete or you want to be ready? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Keep shining and keep learning artificial intelligence. All the best.